How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Patriot DIY channel. I have a really easy DIY project for you guys today that can add a really nice farmhouse or industrial look to your home. All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to build these floating shelves you see behind me. This is a really simple process that anybody could do, but if you like that farmhouse or industrial style, you're really going to love the look that this gives your home or man cave or wherever you plan to mount these shelves. Now I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this for yourself, but first guys, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. That really helps out the channel. Now let's jump right into it. All right, guys, first thing you need to do is determine what size shelves you wanna go with. For mine, I'm going with 10 inches deep by 24 inches wide. So I'm just gonna be using a two by 10 for the surface of these shelves. So we're gonna go ahead and take our two by 10 over to the miter station and cut it down to size. I do have a full video and digital plans for this miter station. If you wanna check that out, I'll put a link right here at the top of the screen. Next, we're gonna go ahead and stain our shelves. And since we're going for that rustic farmhouse look, we're not gonna worry about sanding these down first. We're gonna go ahead and stain them just as they are. While we're waiting for that to dry, we're ready to go ahead and start making our floating shelf brackets. First, you're gonna need some lengths of this three quarter inch black threaded pipe. Since I'm using two by tens for my shelf, I got the 10 inch pipe. You're also gonna need some of these three quarter inch threaded end caps and three quarter inch flanges. You will need two of these for each shelf that you plan to put up. Now these aren't completely black. Your flanges and your caps are actually gonna be more of a dark gray and your pipe's gonna have plenty of imperfection in it, which is great if you're going for that industrial look, and that is what I'm going for. But you can also paint these black if you want to, and that's what we're gonna be doing here. I'm just gonna go ahead and start assembling these. You're gonna take your pipe and thread it onto your flange. Now, it's important to note that these threaded ends are tapered, so it's not gonna thread all the way in, but that's okay. Same thing with your cap on the other end. Go ahead and get that loosely fitted together. And we're gonna do that for each one, just so they'll stand up nicely while we paint them. Now that we have these loosely fitted together, we're gonna go ahead and hit them with one coat of black satin spray paint. So we're gonna go ahead and measure and mark out the location for our shelves and start to fasten those to the wall. Before I put that second pipe in place, I'm gonna rest a level on top of these just to make sure our shelf is gonna be nice and level. And then we can go ahead and mount our second shelf bracket. Now we can go ahead and set our first shelf on top of these pipes to see how it looks and check for level. Since my shelves are 24 inches wide, I'm gonna have my pipes inset about two inches just so I have a little bit of overhang. I think that gives it a much nicer look. And we're just gonna repeat that same process for the other two shelves.
All right, guys, this is really looking great. Now, the only thing left to do is to secure our shelves to the brackets, and we're gonna be doing that with some one-inch pipe straps. But before we put these on, we want them to match everything else, so we're gonna hit them with a coat of black spray paint. We're just gonna be using one strap per pipe, and we're securing those to the shelf from the underside with one inch wood screws. All right guys, that is it for how to build your own farmhouse or industrial style floating shelves. Like I said, it's pretty easy and I know you guys are gonna knock it out. So I hope this video helped you out. And if you have any questions, make sure you let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget guys, if you're building any of these projects yourself, we always try to put links down in the description that you can use if you wanna get this stuff for yourself. As always, thanks for watching guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.